How to DJ a wedding with DJ Pro AI. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to tell you. DJing a wedding could be very different than DJing a normal event. Let's say if you're DJing the 4th of July or if you're DJing a Christmas party. Because a wedding is supposed to be the most important day of someone's life. So if you're the guy that ruined the 4th of July with the music, that is not nearly as bad as the guy that ruins somebody's most important day of their life that they're going to remember forever. So if you accept a gig for doing a wedding, there are some stuff that you are going to expect to do that you might not be used to doing if you've been playing other types of gigs such as clubs and gigs like that. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the playlist. So with a wedding, you're going to want to ask the bride and groom to write you a list. So you could have two lists. That's what I recommend is having a list of songs that they definitely would like to hear, like 50 or 100 songs that they would like to hear. And then also even more important, especially for a wedding, is to have a list of songs that they do not want to play. So let me say that again. Songs, a list of songs that the bride and groom definitely don't want to hear. Because when it comes to weddings and when it comes to bride and grooms, especially with brides, there may be some songs that might remind them of an ex, might remind them of a bad time in their life, or just a song that they really, really hate. And every time it comes on, they just want to leave the room and they don't want that playing at their wedding. So make sure to take this list very seriously because it can completely mo ruin the mood of a bride or groom at their wedding. Now, the next thing that is very important with a wedding is, is going to be equipment. Now, you might have to use equipment that you don't normally use, such as a microphone. So, if you're a... A lot of DJs are very good DJs, and they DJ all the time and do professional DJ sets, but they don't use a microphone in their normal DJing. But if you plan on doing a wedding, you're going to have to get over your fear of being on the microphone, because you're going to have to make announcements for the first dance, announcements for the speeches, and you're going to be on the microphone for the whole night. Now, I don't recommend singing along to the songs or going overboard with it, but you're going to have to have a way of plugging in your microphone into your speakers. And DJ Pro AI version 4 makes it even easier for us because if we go over here, press the middle button, go to settings, you could edit the audio device setup. So this gives us ability to plug in a microphone. It gives us the ability to have a booth monitor. So that means there'll be a speaker pointing at you. So you could you could see, you could hear what the audience hears because usually the DJ setup has the speakers going towards the audience. So if you have a booth monitor, it'll help you monitor the sound and be able to get the sound right. So definitely, make sure you have a controller or a mixer that will allow you to plug in a microphone and make sure that you have all of that set up. Also make sure that the speakers are loud enough. I say this in almost all the videos, but do the math on how big the room is and how many watts of power are you gonna need for this performance. Now, another thing that I would highly, highly recommend if you are DJing at a wedding is to add video into your performance. So you could get a cheap TV, you could get a projector. Um, it doesn't matter how you do it, but just get an HDMI cable out of your iPad and into a screen. And then now you could set up, maybe you could have the bride and groom send you pictures. So you could add, you could display pictures over here. Choose images, boom, any image. So you could choose pictures of the couple together doing stuff that they like to do and then it would be shown on the screen and you can make slideshows, you can make effects with it and it will add a whole nother element of your DJ performance and you could also charge a lot more by offering a, some sort of 
a video package. Now, when it comes to weddings, there's some styles and mixing that you might want to avoid. So if you're DJing at a club or a festival or something like that, or even a party, it's going to be different style of mixing than if you're doing a wedding. So with a wedding, a couple of the things that you're going to want to avoid is scratching. Maybe you could throw in a scratch or two, or maybe if the bride and groom are, they requested that specifically, but the good rule of thumb is just refrain from scratching with your, when you're doing weddings, because the weddings are about the bride and the groom. It's not about you showing off your DJ skills. Another thing to avoid is effects and samples. So you're not going to be wanna, wanting to blast the air horn throughout the whole night at a wedding. It might upset people. There's going to be older people. There's going to be younger people. And just take it easy with the samples and effects. Me personally, I told my wedding DJ to play the air horn a lot because it's kind of like my signature thing. And all throughout the night, he was playing the air horn and... A lot of my families were, family members weren't that happy with it, but I thought it was funny. So keep in, go tone, tone it back a little bit. If you're, even if you're the best scratch DJ, even if you know all the effects and you're good on the looper and you like doing all this custom stuff, tone it down a little bit. At least maybe, maybe wait towards the end when things are starting to wrap up and everyone's drunk, then you could start throwing in these type of things, but tr just tone down your mixes play songs for most of the song, and then do smooth beat, beat matches, or you could just drop the new song at the one, or you could even just say something between songs. You could say, oh, you like that song, then check out the next song, and you could keep it going like that. You're not going to have to be as reliant on being a perfectly phrased beat match. You could do some of these kind of like the echo out and different types of transitions to get the people going. And now another thing is the play for everybody. So don't just play music for the bride and the groom. Play music for the older people. Have a section where you're going to play music for the younger people. And try to hit all the generations. That's one of the biggest things with weddings is there's going to be multiple different generations there. So there's going to be grandma and grandpas. And then there's going to be um, the nephews and nieces who are going to like different types of music and who are going to require different volumes and stuff like that. So make sure that you cater to everybody, get everybody out on the dance floor having a good time so that they're not just sitting down and doing nothing. Also have a playlist prepared. You could use auto mix or you could, you could DJ it yourself, but have a specific playlist for when they're eating dinner. You're not gonna be playing the crazy party songs when they're eating dinner. So have songs that are good, maybe some of the s slower songs that the bride and groom requested and be ready to have that mix going. And DJ Pro, if you go over here, they have the auto mix feature. So you just press auto mix and you load up a playlist and then you could take a break yourself, maybe have something to eat and relax for a little bit before the party really gets going again. So let me know in the comments if any of you have used DJ Pro AI and an iPad to DJ a wedding. I think a lot of people might think it's a crazy idea but if you prepare yourself and you know what to do and what not to do, you could definitely pull it off. And I think DJ Pro is the DJ program of the future. So I'm excited to see how wedding DJs are going to incorporate it. So if you like learning about stuff like that, so you could subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. I make DJ videos every single day.